Shalom, shalom everyone. My name is Pastor George Obiero of Ray of Light Ministry as the founder, together with my wife. Uh, my name is uh, Pastor Jackie Obiero. Amen. So it's wonderful uh, to have you just come on board and even as we share with you, a welcome as we give you our journey of faith in the last seven years. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, okay. So, sweetheart, I would really like to know, you know, I mean, you know, for you to just, for us to just talk about how the journey has been. Mm-hmm. Um, it's been seven years since uh, Ray of Light was back. It's an amazing number, man. Yeah. It's the number of completion. Amen. Mm. Amen. Yeah, and um, through the journey, we've really seen the hand of God. And, uh, you know, when we, when we first started, um, it was like a joke. <laughs> it didn't look like, you know, it would one day grow into this, you know, into what it is right now. Yeah. But it's been a journey of faith. We have seen God like take us through. Exactly. You know, I, I remember when we started in uh, Bandari Villas. Yeah. Uh, um, before that, you know, how the name Ray of Light. Well, uh, the name Ray of Light, it came when, um, uh, I, I believe when we started all this, mm-hmm. of course, we came from Nairobi. Yes. Into Mombasa. Mm-hmm. And the call that God gave us was just a call to pray. Yeah. And so here we are, called to pray. And uh, I was a bit uncomfortable. Why? Because I'm used to them tara tara. And here you are, you're supposed to have your family with us. So we started, we came to Mombasa. I located a church that was going to be a place of landing. Yeah. And I think one year later, the call, the push was very, very strong. And True. you really, you really helped me to to just get onto uh, the faith bus. You know, I, I think uh, the the hardest thing was just how to start. Mm. You know, how do you how do you just uh, you know start? You know, and I remember us having that conversation, and and we said, let's just start. You know, yeah, in fact, you're the one who encouraged me around it. Yeah, you know, when you said, I'll talk to the girls, mm-hmm. I don't mind us starting, you know, just the four of us. We'll yeah. start the four of us, mm-hmm. and and that is what I needed. You know, even, even a man who hears from God needs a confirmation from yeah. time to time, true. And so, that was an, a very, very important confirmation from you, mm-hmm. and just an encouragement that pushed me mm-hmm. into into uh, just getting onto this uh, faith bus. Mm -hmm. And so we got into it. Mm -hmm. And uh, so there we are. I think it's one night we are are about to go to rest and um, we are asking about the ray. So it was ray, ray of... uh, It was ray of hope. Mm -hmm. And I remember like um, uh, we sent the names to a friend of ours in Nairobi who did for us a search. And uh, then he got back to us and he told us that name had already, you know, like it had already, uh, those, those, those somebody using that name. And so we, we had ray of hope, we had ray of light, and, and so we, we, we ended up just, uh, you know, going to ray of light, you know, because it was our, like our second option. And ray of light it has been. Yes, it so has been. So that's how it was born, 2013, yeah. around May. Mm-hmm. And so we began the journey. And right from the house in Bandari Villas, you know, um, I remember the very first service yeah. we had was a very encouraging service because in that one service we had, we had a vocalist, lead vocalist, mm-hmm. we had a sound man, mm-hmm. we had a cameraman, mm-hmm. we had a, a, keyboardist, a keyboardist, you know, we had a, a, a couple from Nairobi yes. and a few people from Mombasa. Yeah, that was, that was very, really, very really encouraging. unencouraging. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it was a big sign that the Lord had said, let's start. Yeah. And so, of course, our focus was people. Yeah. And so God started sending people, mm-hmm. different people, and they would start knowing who Pastor George and Pastor Jackie are all about. Mm-hmm. And slowly by slowly, we, s- we see God remove us 
from a place like that and it began to swell. People began to come. True. I mean, people would come home for the service as the second service. As a second service, yeah. You know, come from their churches, mm -hmm, come mm -hmm. because they wanted a new experience. They That's wanted true. to experience God mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. indeed they did. And as a matter of fact, some of them ended up just uh, moving over, you know, as we as we were right at home. Yeah, and that's true. and we started it started swelling mm. and swelling, mm. and so the house was too small. Mm. And I felt the Lord still saying, "We are." I didn't feel God giving us, uh, telling us to move into into a, a space. Yeah, you know, like you know the conventional way. Mm -hmm. So we were to look for a bigger house. You remember yeah. us going to Nyali? Yes, and looking then looking and, looking and we didn't really quite find something that was going to work yeah, for us. Yeah, that's that was going to work for us. And 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 so how we landed uh, here was, um, you know, remember like um, I think there was a couple, you know, a, 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 a spiritual daughter. Mm -hmm. whose uncle was sick. Yes. And so we went to pray for them. I remember it was at Agud Khan. Yes. Yeah, so we went, prayed, and um, then after that, they asked whether we could come and... You could Have come and, tea. And, yeah, and just because pray with them. Because, of course, God had touched the, 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 the uncle, and the uncle was healed. Yes. And so they wanted to give thanks, and mm -hmm. so we come. We visit them, and we have a nice time of tea and everything. I believe I was alone because you, you had travelled. Yes, because I had travelled at that and time. And so mm -hmm. we we start and we sat and I had tea with them, and I'm I just kept looking. Wow, this home is so beautiful. If you could get a place like this, and I think I just got vocal about it, and I said, yeah. I love your home. So really, well, we are we are moving out of this home. I said, Oh, mm -hmm. so it's not your home? He said, Yes. So it's a rental and. Long and short of the story, they moved out. Yes, and we moved, we moved in. in. Yes, <laughs> it was a bigger space. Yeah, a better space. Mm. We were now able to accommodate the, 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 the numbers that were coming in. Yeah. Of course, it was farther because mm -hmm. this is in Shanzu. Yeah, so having people coming to Shanzu was also a, a faith walk because uh, leaving all those churches from wherever exactly. to come into mm -hmm. a home church, mm -hmm. it would take God. Yeah. And so, God, we started and we saw God take us, now that is around 2016 mm -hmm. into, 2017. into 2017, and then the Lord speaks and He says, it's time to move. Yes. And I began to look for space all over, and um, of course I had a pastor friend of mine who helped me and we went around looking for space. And not too far from here, Mombasa Continental was the place. So we, I go in there, mm -hmm. they have very few customers or, or guests and, and we start negotiating about the space. Mm. And of course the negotiation initially was very, very, I mean what they wanted was way above. Way above, yeah. But we ended up settling on a very good rate and so we started. Yeah, so we get into Continental mm -hmm. and uh, we are very, very excited about the space. God brings in more people. Yes. So we have a lot of people coming in. Mm -hmm. We loved the place. It was Our a beautiful children place. Had it was, and, room. and and the kids had their own uh, space. Yeah. And uh, it was it was a nice place uh, away from home. At least for the first time, we were able to wear our shoes. Yeah. You know, to church. And and you know, really really dress up. And dress up. Yeah. Yeah. So that was that was quite something. And uh, we just loved it because at least it gave us an opportunity to get out of the house and, yeah. and, and to be able to do church, uh, you know, in a different uh, venue, in yeah. a different environment. Yeah. And, uh, well, <laughs> our stay there was not... Uh, <laughs> we actually had a one-year stay, yeah. precisely, almost just a one-year stay. Just one year. Mm -hmm. Because uh, after the one year, we have the guys, you know, we get in. They had very few customers. Mm -hmm. Then, now we told them we will come in here. The favor of God is going to be with us, and we will see the numbers grow. True. And of course, the the numbers grew. Yeah. And, uh, they started having business. They started having and, a lot of business. And, yes. And, and they actually experienced the favor of God. Yeah. And uh, 
no sooner had we you know thought we would settle that this yes. was a place than we we were evicted <laughs> Yeah we were given really a notice to yeah, an to eviction move out. notice to to move out and you know it was so sudden yeah so we were you know um they gave us an eviction notice yeah and so we were to move out within a week that was yeah. that was quite something cuz yeah. we had been there and uh good tenants know, by the way good tenants you know faithful yeah and then all of a sudden the, the management says oh you know we, we you know we can't have we you can't guys have you there. Mm-hmm. um customers are complaining and uh, they forgot that these customers actually came because we were praying well the lord had something in plan anyway yeah you know because um i believe one of the things about faith mm. is that god really never wants us to settle That's true. You know, even when he talks about Abraham. Mm. Abraham comes to the land of promise, but they still live in tents. Mm. Because there is a city, there is a place that God wants them to get into. That's true. You know, a city whose builder and maker is God. And mm. and so a journey of faith is really not one of settling. Yeah. But one of progressively desiring more from God. Mm. And 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 I I see it as a favor of God not making us comfortable. because when we were starting to get comfortable the lord said it's time to move it's time to move and of course it it felt like a backward move because we yeah. moved back home because of the short notice that's true and for two sundays and i was like lord are we really have we just come back home have we moved back or what's this all about mm-hmm. and and in the second sunday after we came from continental mm. you know i'm i'm standing here and preaching and the lord speaks to my heart and says move the church to the car park yes and so we look for tents yeah. we put the tents on the car park mm-hmm. and we start church in the car park yeah and uh, of course that was that was temporary or already yeah. just by the fact that we're in the car park but it felt like at least it wasn't a backward move mm-hmm. so in the car park uh, i believe god was just making us uncomfortable it's true just so that we could begin to look out yeah. and so i think uh, at the same time when we moved out and were, you know when we were at the car park it's more or less the same time when you know when when the lord had like stirred in your heart concerning uh the land where we are at right now mm-hmm. and uh you know so you had already like started negotiating with uh, with the with the owner mm-hmm. concerning it and um it looked like but it also didn't look like because of you know the conditions that he was giving us and you know we're wondering you know lord is is this the thing and then um, it was very bushy again you know that's when now we had to like really lift up our faith again because mm. this was bare land you know Actually, it had been what, what, kept mm. like that for, for for years what really just made me know that it was god is the fact that it was a hidden place mm-hmm. the bushiness it's just like land prime land yeah in a prime location mm. but so bushy and it felt like god had hidden this for us mm-hmm. and you know you know i remember us having that kind of back and forth with you and you're like let's look for another place and i said Mm-mm, this is where god is saying yeah that's so true. We, god will will speak to the landlord he will uh, be agreeable long and short of it he was actually agreeable we got into a three year lease mm. and uh it was going to be a non renewable lease mm-hmm. uh, he loved us when we met with him he said you know what you guys are good people we're going to give you the i'm going to give you this space in any case whatever you guys are giving me is just for taking care of my land mm. and we were happy with that yeah so we move in there congregation of about 30 people yes in a big piece of land almost three quarters of an acre mm-hmm. and uh, it's rocky it's it's just a bush it was it was really something yeah mm-hmm. I, i remember like we had to like uh, clear clear the bushes yeah and then you know remove the the stumps uh there was already like a foundation that was already there but it was it was kind of broken. Yeah. So we had to like redo the whole place. Yes. 
uh, remember like uh, bringing the the excavator. the excavator. It was actually a Sunday, and yeah. that Sunday we had a team of able men yes. staying on site, exactly. making sure that the place is cleared. You yeah. know, when we saw the videos after and. We are seeing them, you know, just working, clearing the place. So they had their Sunday in church, yeah. just getting the land ready. And after church, you know, we told guys, let's go to site. And oh my goodness, it the, just those, gave us... The, the, such a big transformation. Oh yeah, it gave us, yeah. you know, uh, it gave us motivation. Mm -hmm. Now this looks like habitable land. Exactly. And, so and we, I remember, you know, we didn't even stay long after that, you know, we just... Uh, worked on, on a small portion, yes. you know, for us to just move the tent from, 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 from the, the car, car park, park. To, to church. And we said, you know what, we'll start from there yes. and we'll believe God. And I remember remember us going to, to South Coast um, yeah. to bring in the, the casarinas the and the, the yeah. timbers and everything. And it's been an amazing walk because by and by the Lord was able to use the, 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 the small congregation, you know, to just put up that structure you know it was it was the small monies and the big monies that came and those who didn't have give themselves exactly i mean yeah, people yeah. would leave work and come, come and, and work, work in church exactly. people would send their children mm -hmm. and we had everybody involved yes it was our own we are exactly. finally in our own space yes. and everybody just getting involved mm -hmm. and you know coming in on saturdays working mm. and the story is it can only be spoken better in pictures, you know. Exactly. But but mm -hmm. seeing the seeing how God brought us, everybody plugging into faith. Yeah. Not belittling what part they can play. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I've had many sessions with pastors and they talk to me and they say, How long has this church been? You know, in one year, twenty eighteen was that miraculous yes, year. Yes, it was. It From was. no structure. To a full structure, mm -hmm. money that we didn't have, mm -hmm. God supplying day to day to mm -hmm. day, mm -hmm. you know, and just seeing that sanctuary. Mm -hmm. I remember one of the contractors who was coming was like, You guys are building a very big sanctuary. You guys are so few. Mm -hmm. Why are you making such a humongous place? Yeah. But you know, that's what faith is, that's and that's true. what vision is. That's true. And so we, 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 we saw God put up that structure, beautiful structure, beautiful mm. Makuti structure with a yeah. very able uh, projects team. Yes. I remember us haggling between uh, tent, uh, iron sheets, mm -hmm. and we just settled on Makuti and mm. that was the best decision that we'd, yeah. e we'd ever made. It's been an amazing walk. Yeah. You know, a journey of faith, just seeing the Lord, you know, walking with us mm. from, from nothing into something. You know? That's that's how God does it, isn't it? Yeah. Cause those things that are not as though they are. As though they are. Yeah. And so uh, for me, I'm 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 really really thankful to God. Just yeah. seeing and 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 I believe that you know even in the next phase that we are going into, and it's it's the phase of acquiring this land. So land. We, we are not just um, you know not not anymore on lease. You know, yeah. on this whole, but we we are now we want to acquire this land. So, so we thank God. We thank God for for allowing the landlord to actually mm -hmm. get into negotiations and talks with us mm -hmm. on on purchasing of the property, mm -hmm. and that is where we are. You know, and that is where now we are calling upon everyone to plug in. This is an opportunity for every one of you That's to true. come in. Mm -hmm. This is where you plug in. Mm -hmm. This is where you join in with us. We are looking at a period of three months up to December 2020 yeah. where you and us can actually partner in faith. Yes, I know it's COVID. Yes, I know everybody, others are being sacked from work. Others are going through different kind of situations. But it is the same, same time. A story is given of the widow of Zarephath who was mm -hmm. down to her last. Mm -hmm. And that last was met with the man of God. And in that giving of her last to the man of God opened a supernatural supply for the entire drought season. Amen. And so I'm seeing this as an opportunity for you to partner with us. What is that last that you have? Can you be able to put it in mm. and, 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 and work with us? Can you be able to, to just, you know, 
come on board mm -hmm. and as you come on board you will see god work on your behalf that's true. one thing we promise is whoever plugs in we are praying for you at a personal level mm. we are calling on you at a personal level mm. where you will be able to see god also answer you as a person as a family mm. as a unit in your business in whatever area and as we see god bring this magnificent piece of property into his own hand mm -hmm. and so the lord gave us the name miliki miliki yes. is is swahili for possess and joshua chapter 1 verses verse 3, that, verses verse three, three says yes. you know joshua telling the children of israel or god rather telling joshua mm -hmm. that as you get into this land wherever you step it's yours to possess and this is an opportunity mm -hmm. for us to witness another miracle Amen. the sanctuary is a miracle this is yet going to be another miracle another and it's miracle. our seventh year yes and so this is that moment yes. where we are actually looking so we are calling on you mm. we are asking you get on board we will be sharing with you platforms that you can actually be able to plug in apart from prayer you'll be able to plug in through our website the details will be there uh, you can see the details. That's www.rol.or.ke. You'll be able to come in if you're out of the country and you want to use SendWave. The details are right there with you. Yes. You know, you want to, uh, to, to get onto it. You're in Kenya. You want to do that via M-Pesa. You, you know, the, the details. You want to do that via Visa. You want to do that via MasterCard. All those options are available for you to to actually plug in and be a part of this miliki journey as we see god do amazing things so you don't want to miss out you want to be a part of this and our promise to you is that we will partner with you Amen. we will pray with you yes and and as a matter of fact even as as i as i sense the holy spirit leading you mm. i just want us to make a pronouncement you know I, I just want us to declare over their lives That's true. and to tell you in the name of Jesus, yes. may the Spirit of God, yes, yes. whom you have listened to and who has been speaking to you to obey, yes. may He lead you, mm. may He cause you to come to that place yes. where you are able mm. to work, where you are able to see a manifestation yes, of that yeah. which you have believed God for. Mm. We are speaking you favor in your life. Yes. New doors, promotions, mm. just like it was for, for Isaac. Mm. May you be able to reap a hundredfold in this season as you yes, sow. You will see Jesus. a hundredfold return yes, on your behalf mm. in the name of Jesus. Name of so Jesus. we bless you mm. and we call upon the Lord to also bless you mm. in, a, in a very divine way. May mm. you experience experience miracles mm. in this one year in this same same corona year 2020 mm. may you see god mm. come through for you in a such in such a magnificent way mm. in jesus name amen. amen we love you amen. we appreciate you amen. and we look forward to seeing you connecting with us on facebook amen. on 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 instagram mm -hmm. and on our website and through email so we love you. Ah, God bless you so much. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Amen.